We love the rain, but yes. folks need to be careful when they're driving out mm -hmm. there because as we've seen here in Dublin, I yeah. mean, that water can get on the roads pretty quick. Yeah, and this has been piling up. That was a lot of rain at one time, and it was really cool watching it come in. It had the big shelf cloud, so you had the dark cloud and then the lightning in the distance, and then it came in quickly and a little bit of uh, wind out there, but mainly a lot of heavy rain. All of this, though, is so much needed. That's yeah, what's so great about the mm -hmm. whole thing. So we still have some more to go. I think most of the heavy stuff is going to start to wind down. Uh, but that's all right. We'll get a little steady light rain and then we're going to try to go at this again tomorrow afternoon. You don't want to try to catch it all at one time because it'll just run off. You need some slow soakers in there as well, not just the big flash in the pan. 73 is the current number in Dublin now. And again, with the rain coming in, it cooled things off. But man, has it been muggy. But that's why we're seeing so much rain, just tons of juice in the atmosphere. There's a look at the numbers again. You're seeing a lot of 70s out there now. And again, these dew points have been really high. The dark green has finally set up shop here. So welcome to summer 2021, where it's going to be hot and muggy every day. But at least you're going to have the chance for afternoon thunderstorms. And when we have gone so long without seeing this, this is such a welcome sight. Mainly our eastern third right now seeing this. So from Lawrence County spreading up through Johnson into Washington County. This storm's kind of losing some of its punch here, but you'll see that as we've been going through the day today where it's starting to fall apart in one spot and the outflow from one will kind of bolster another one right off next to it. Just light stuff going on here in our northern counties. Uh, anywhere from Crawford, Monroe, Bibb counties mainly now just light stuff. Let's go on over and you can see what I'm talking about with this one coming up from Dublin starting to kind of spark up here Johnson County and then points east from there. So that's the biggest game in town right now is the one going on in Dublin as we go on across light rain in some of our uh, south and southwestern counties here and then almost nothing now to the bottom. But there's still rain being manufactured, maybe in small batches out there. And if you go on down into South Georgia, you can still see more out there. So we'll see how it goes. Typically, you know, you lose the heat of the day after sunset. And a lot of this is going to start to calm down some, but right now, at least uh, the potential is still there. Now, the high res model shows this main batch moving away, and then that stuff that's in the southern part of the state moving in maybe to our southern county. So we may still have a little bit more to go uh, if you're in the south. And then it tries to show stuff forming tomorrow morning. We'll see if we get into it that early again. Uh, otherwise, if you go with this model, we're looking at a little bit past noon starting to spark up. We'll see how much coverage we get tomorrow. We're talking about scattered stuff out there tomorrow afternoon into the evening. There's late tomorrow night and then starting to tail away. Let's go into Wednesday afternoon. And I think as we go through the week, whereas the potential will still be there as far as this kind of coverage we're seeing tonight, I think that's going to start to trend downward after this. Uh, tomorrow could be good for that. But then once we get into the second half of the week, we're going to start kind of drying things up. Not totally dry. There's a look at Thursday afternoon. You can see not as much color right on us. We go into Friday, same thing, maybe to our north. Saturday, we may get back in on the act a little bit better. Same thing on into Sunday. I think I have a sort of like a 30, 40 percent chance somewhere in there. Let's talk about the numbers, upper 60s in the morning and then tomorrow afternoon. A lot of this depends on the cloud cover, how much rain we see. Are we going to get on up into the upper 80s? We'll see if we get that far. And then as we head into Wednesday, we have 60s in the morning and then somewhere maybe 90 plus in the afternoon. But check out this dew point map just to show you. This is the reason why we're having all the muggy stuff, but this is the reason why it's raining so much out there as well. It's steady fetch of moisture all over the place out there, and that is here to stay, it looks like. So I don't see any dry slots coming in to go back on some sort of streak like we did rain-free, thankfully. So we'll get our chances more and more tomorrow. We'll see if we can get as much as we have tonight, but today has been very beneficial. Good stuff. Coming back after this.